Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Sergeant Major Course Distance Learning Class 01-20. Ready, strong! Our VIPs for today's ceremony are from the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence, Command Sergeant Major Jimmy Seller, Commandant. Mr. Jesse McKinney, Chief of Staff. From the U.S. Army Sergeant Major Academy, Command Sergeant Major David Lee, Director. Sergeant Major James Hossershek, Deputy Director. Mr. Arthur L. Jenkins, Jr., Chair, Department of Distance Education. And Sergeant Major George L. Sasser, Vice Chair, Department of Distance Education. We'd also like to recognize our special guest, Command Sergeant Major Corey K. Cush, of the 42nd Infantry Division, Command Sergeant Major, New York Army National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invitation given by Chaplain Deborah Brown and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. We pause right now to give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. As we convene this graduation ceremony for the Sergeant Major Course Class 0120, educating today's leader for tomorrow. So on today, though, we thank you for the rigorous program that they had to encounter for giving them the ability to maintain and sustain. And as they go into tomorrow, we ask your blessing on their leadership, that they be able to guide others, but most of all, Lord, give them your strength, your wisdom, and your knowledge to always walk in, walk in an excellent spirit. Now and forevermore, I ask this blessing upon their lives. Amen. Amen.
As sergeants major, we must be stewards of the profession. We develop agile and adaptive leaders who solve problems using critical and creative thinking to sustain an organizational culture that enables mission command. We are the standard bearers, leading by example through character, confidence, and commitment consistent with the Army values. I know my soldiers, and I will always place their needs above my own. I will communicate consistently with my soldiers and never leave them on the floor. Sergeant's major employ communications techniques and messages to create a positive command environment. We are champions for organization growth through open and candid communications. We assess and verify information sharing to ensure shared understanding by identifying capability gaps or weaknesses. I will be fair and impartial when recommending both rewards and punishment. Officers of my unit will have maximum time to accomplish their duties. They will not have to accomplish mine. Sergeants Major develop training management programs within their organizations and prioritize resources to ensure the organization's requirements are met. I will earn their respect and confidence as well as that of my soldiers. I will be loyal to those with whom I serve, seniors, peers, and supporters alike. I will exercise initiative by taking appropriate action in the absence of others. I will not compromise my integrity nor my moral courage. The Sergeant's Major course for non-resident students is currently a 24-month program of instruction designed to prepare senior non-commissioned officers for assignments and positions throughout the Department of Defense. Class 01-20 consists of 50 students who have successfully completed their final requirements for the Sergeant's Major course. On 17 May 1972, General William Westmoreland, the Army Chief of Staff, approved the creation of a senior level course for the non-commissioned officer education system. General Ralph E. Haynes, Jr., the commander of the Continental Army Command, also favored its creation and issued General Order 98, officially creating the Academy effective 1 July 1972. The first class started six months later in January 1973. When the Sergeant's Junior Academy began operations, it already planned to offer a non-resident version of the Sergeant's Junior course for National Guard and Army Reserve NCOs. The first non-resident class began with 55 students in July 1974, and graduated two years later in July 1976. Less than half of those who started graduated, with only 22 students completing the course. Today, each class has hundreds of students and a graduation rate of 75%, and commonly includes regular Army NCOs. Three Air Guardmen have also graduated the program since its inception. Through most of its history, the course has been called the Sergeant's Major Non-Resident Course. But for a period of time in the 1990s, it was officially known as the Corresponding Studies Sergeant's Major Course. Our guest speaker today is Command Sergeant Major Bill Woods. Command Sergeant Major Bill Woods began his military career in October 1986. He attended basic training and advanced individual training at Fort McClellan, Alabama where he graduated from military police school. He then went off to Fort Benning, Georgia, where he completed airborne school. Command Sergeant Major Woods has served in the regular Army, Army Reserve, Air Force Reserve, and is currently a member of the Colorado Army National Guard, serving as a command senior enlisted leader. Command Sergeant Major Woods has attended and served in all levels of NCO PDS and has served in all NCO leadership positions. If you'd like to know more about Command Sergeant Major Woods, you can reference his biography in the program. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Command Sergeant Major Bill Woods. Well, uh, you know, when I uh, was asked to speak here, I was uh, kind of wondering, you know, back in 2006 when I was graduating here in this audience, you know, what it took uh, to be invited to be a guest speaker. <laughs> Good looking. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, a few years ago, I was uh, being prepared to go interview to be the senior enlisted advisor to the chief of national guard director, uh, General Mandel. And part of that process is that you go to the White House, or I'm sorry, to the Pentagon for a week, and they assign a, a Navy or a guy. Uh, I happen to be an Air Force Master Sergeant, uh, MP7. And so they, they take you around, they show you where everything is in the Pentagon, take you to, you know, HRC and everything else, and then they set up office calls with all the senior enlisted advisors for all the services. So my first office call for the day was with Sergeant to the Army, Dan Baker. And so if, if you've never been up there in the Pentagon in those outer offices for those senior leaders, everything's polished. You know, the, the walls, the furniture, the <laughs> doorknobs, you know, you're afraid to sit down, 
there, and the master said, you know, on my way in, he goes, oh, I'll, I'll just hang out for a few minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, so I go in there, and I said, hey, sir, I your daily. I said, can I bring my key? And he goes, oh, sir. So bring it in there. We sit down on this little wrap table inside his office and just kind of, you know, shoot the bowl for 20 minutes or so. And then so the other day, he says, well, why don't you come in here? You know, what do you need? And I said, well, I don't need anything. But when I do need something, I don't want it to be the first time I've ever had. Mm -hmm. so, so that's part of the lesson, is you know, go out there and meet people. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, during our conversation, I also found out that this master sergeant and his nine-year-old son were big fans of the day, which, you know, if you've ever met Sergeant Peter Daly, he's a pretty funny guy mm -hmm. for being so young. Uh, great guy. But, uh, so he coins this, and uh, we take off, and you know, this, this master sergeant, he's holding the essays clean as if it were a brick of gold. And he was so excited to go home and tell his son about this encounter. So he took me uh, to my next engagement, and we, uh, uh, let me see if I can get this right, the big part, which is the master chief. Uh, master chief. Petty officer of the Navy, uh, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, and the Command Master Chief Sergeant of the Air Force. And so each one of those, I didn't even ask him, I just brought in this Master Sergeant with me to kind of share my adventure. So at the end of the day, this Master Sergeant, you know, he, he thanked me. Uh, he was still you know, really excited about getting to go home and tell his son that he met Sergeant Major Daly and to show him this coin that he had been presented. And he goes, you know, uh, this morning, I was contemplating getting out of the Air Force. Because I've been in this building for almost three years, and I can't tell you how many people I've delivered to these office calls, and not once had I got to meet one of those senior leaders. He goes, you're the first person that, you know, invited me in to share that experience. And, you know, the, the lesson out of this is, it's one of the few times that didn't mess up enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he said, by showing me that I was a valued member of the team, I decided I'm going to stay in. And I want to use you as my leadership example. Uh, which I was like, ooh, the end of the
Sergeant Major Michael S. Garner. Master Sergeant Kurt E. Heaven. First Sergeant Kendrick J. Langer. First Sergeant James A. Lindsay. Sergeant Major Shane D. Lindsay. Master Sergeant Gregory A. Martin. Sergeant Major Derek C. Moore. Sergeant Major Joel Nowakowski.
Fire Brigade Leader Stephen F. Hall. <coughs> Sergeant Major Travis H. Quake. Sergeant Major Richard R. Riccio. Sergeant Major Jason A. Ross. First Sergeant Rodney Sarvis. Sergeant Major Travis J. Sickerson. Sergeant Major Daniel S. Stout. Sergeant Major Melissa I. Stupka.
Sergeant Major Kristen L. Watts. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to be present in graduates, the Sergeant Stranger Course, non resident class 01. See y'all later. I gotta hit save. <laughs>